So th there you are, V. I know you're watching 100%. So are you threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> There he is. What's how, going how on? Are you, how are you all doing? Hey, uh, hey so how was Layman? Or you like that? Or let's get I, I missed it. I saw a little invite. What did I miss? Oh, 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 we were talking about how you, how you and him were having sex and we they went into detail and stuff. All Lehman. the time. All the time. Yeah. yeah how do you yeah. think I won the uh, fourth debate with him? <laughs> that is actually true. Like, here's the I, thing. I topped, I topped the shit out of that and I made him submit. We basically kind of play this weird, you know, Tundra thingy where it's like, oh no, Jim, I'm going to beat you. But, you know, it, beforehand, we already like, you know, we got all the arguments set up so he can really like dominate me on stream. You know? Yeah, I just want to warn you if, if V does come in, he might ask you to delete the stream like uh, last time he talked to me on a stream. Well, but besides, besides last night, you know, he might blab too much and just ask you to please delete it. Did you see that uh, Taka's stream went down? Yeah, uh, yeah, he had a lightning strike. Lightning See, I storm. don't believe that because the moment, the moment V, uh, right before that happened, I think a hit was called on him by the soy father. <laughs> the, moment, the moment that he said Sargon is like a, a university professor, instantly the stream goes down. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Wait, wait, you think that he was scared of Sargon? No, I think I think Sargon saw V mention his name and ordered his hitman <laughs> to take that <laughs> stream down. Oh shit! Yeah, because that was that was funny how V said someone recommended I didn't do the debate with Harmful, and then I was like, was this guy supposed to be scheduled to be at a ball pit in Kilroy? And then Quartering said maybe. Like, Apparently they had a full group therapy session for V. Oh, uh, I, 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 well, yeah, I, I put a video uh, response up to him last night because he made, he made a video. My whole point with that was like, oh, okay, if if your position is Harvel is just fucking with you and he's just having a laugh, then treat it like that. Don't don't get so you know super serious and emotional. Just I I literally banter. told him that. I said like two three days ago. I told him. Look, I don't respect you. I'm just gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna treat you as a subhuman if you want to talk to me. If you don't want to talk to me, just fuck off. And he decided to talk to me. So hey, I went ahead. I figured he was into it or something. I thought the back and forth was funny. I I wanted to see it like was. you know an hour an hour. Here we go. Good V. Yeah, you can I, I, I actually treat it, like it's a, treat it like it's a game, man. Have some fun with it. Yeah, I I don't know how you wanted that video to come off, but I did take hey. that advice. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I was embarrassed. Yeah, yeah v, just like I was saying, if you can't tell if you're somebody's trolling with you, just then don't take it seriously and just fuck around. You were making hey, bug guys. eating jokes and shit. Go for it. That's funny yeah, stuff. You were doing fine. Uh, like, give me a like, second. I, I gotta grab you. my lube. Give me a second. Gotta grab the lube. <laughs> I told <laughs> you the other day that I'm just gonna fuck with you. Right? Do you remember? Right, but it, it doesn't matter. I already stated what I had. Um. I actually thought you are legitimately concerned about Skype cabals and about the issues you're raising. Not and I thought that you're like coming gave, in good faith. I gave a fuck when that reflected on me when I was involved in the YouTube shit and people assumed I was involved with it. And and you know about how I felt about people saying, oh, there's the apocalypse, so I need more. I was like, nah, give me money, please, but not if you feel sorry for me. Okay. Uh, but now that doesn't matter. I yeah, that's fine. Give a fuck but but you understand there were people who didn't believe me when I said that's the case, and I wanted to have you on record saying that this is not the case. I so mean, if I, I can understand other people being concerned. For for me personally, I mean, it's something that I'm not I'm not a fan of people being too close within uh, any any field involving media. But the YouTube shit that doesn't matter. I'm on Twitch now. Okay, that's fair enough. But if you want to fucking fight with me, hell yeah. Wait, so yeah, here, we go. Here, here we go. Hey, uh, before you came in, V, uh, Harmful said he'd smack you around like a bitch if he met you in real life. Any yeah, response? Uh, <laughs> that's how he started out, out the stream, actually. I'm not going to do another video where I say you do <laughs> He flexed from the camera and said, these guns kill Romanians. Any response? <laughs> hey, V, do you have any siblings? No, I'm a lonely child. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I Yo. do have multiple personalities, though. Sometimes when I get drunk, I uh, become completely different. I go yeah. on streams and I start yelling at people. Yeah, well, that's why well, I like having fun v on. stuff. There yeah, that's why I like having V on. Everyone's like, "Stop putting V on!" I'm like, because he's like, he's always angry at people. I'm like, that's why I put him on because it's fucking hilarious. Now, Trump, v, Trump before... isn't into that shit either. Trump <laughs> just like takes it 
real serious but i thought i thought you were on board with it and i thought scrum was hopping in with you and this was some like fucking wrestlemania tag team shit turns out no no well, it's, yeah. it's, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, v, yeah. v, before you go any further because i saw what happened in the last stream there's a certain name don't bring it up i don't want this stream mysteriously going down <laughs> <laughs> uh the owner of the stream had a lightning strike a tree next to his house and that's what uh, yeah happened. that's what the police oh, so be. that's what we call it nowadays, <laughs> a lightning strike okay <laughs> The lightning of magically appeared. <laughs> no, and then next to Tonka's charred body are just a couple bowls from a ball pit. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> you don't fuck with the family. <laughs> no, but the, the thing with Saga, like a professor, is like my studies, my books, my reading, reading, and it's like I don't care about the drama. Like if you if you bring him something that's like drama wise, like I don't care, you know, like philosophy books, reading that that's that's his shtick basically. Like for I... people who know him. I'm gonna ask you, V. Then why why was he calling the whole uh, Kilroy thing drama when it ended up being a fucking scam? Well, I mean, and he'd I recommended think, yeah, he'd I, recommended I to people that. that they put money in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he got is in fact he probably made the most money uh, donated from Kilroy. And I'm still heading to Arizona to hang out with sticks and a bunch of people to bar hop with some viewers and hang out at restaurants and stuff with people, but. Sargon got probably, you know, when he posted his video, got about $20,000 worth from his, his viewers. And then he accused, well, he accuses a lot of us of starting drama when we got people to actually refund it. You'll have to bring that up with him, mate. He, he is going to have to yeah, defend he, himself. He got fucked that. out of, in all fairness, he got fucked out of 252. I mean, if you look at his Facebook yeah. thing, he says that uh, he threw 250 and he doesn't expect to get it back. Uh, the interesting thing, though, is you were bringing up Sister Danger earlier. Hmm. Um, I, I went on, uh, is it Sinestra or Sinatra? Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Uh, Sinatra says? Sinatra. What's going yeah, on? Sinatra oh. says. Yeah, yeah. He had Sister Danger on there, and I went in as Billy the Anti-Bully. I don't think she knew who I was. Oh, yeah. no way. <laughs> so I talked to her for like 30 minutes, um, and she was dumb enough to admit that, you know how Base Mama said we needed to have a contract before we got money or it's illegal? Yeah. I got her to admit that, yes, they raised at least forty to $50,000 before any contracts of any sort were discussed. Oh. Did so, they know it's illegal, though, or were they just stupid? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, but think about it. You're standing in front of the judge. Your Honor, I didn't realize stealing from this <laughs> store was illegal. If I had known, I never would have taken all the products yeah. here. Even if it wasn't illegal, it should just be so blatantly scummy. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obvious if you can't guarantee the people are going to show up. You, and I'm then you more interested in the um, in the civil litigation, not even the criminal stuff, not even from Arizona. I'm talking yeah. about the people whose yeah. images were used to promote a product. Uh, real fast, real fast, dude. Sorry, yeah. someone in the chat. I, I did not say that Sargon hashtag Sargon didn't know it was a scam. What I'm saying, with Andy, are you saying Sargon? No, I didn't say. That. Andy is saying that Sargon. No, I didn't say. Andy, Sargon news. Jesus Christ, Andy, put put down the gun. Put down the gun, Andy. Yeah. Okay. Kill. All right, Hasbro thinks I'm on the way to murder them, okay? I don't need any more of this shit. Sargon was calling, like, st saying stop talking about drama. What I'm saying is he shouldn't have said that when it was, like, obviously a scam at the end, at least. That's all I... Sargon didn't know. Stop it, people. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> right. Andy, your issue is the dismissal of it once it came That's out. That's it. That's it. Yes. That's it. Dismissal of it. That's it. You're not blaming him Wasn't for it, uh, uh, scam, just like, why, did, why is he dismissing it? He, he what, should have been as upset. He should have been as upset as everyone, is my opinion. What, wasn't this during the time he was in London organizing his event? I mean, no, maybe... He was on my yeah. stream. He was on my stream. And I, I'll was... actually... I, I'll actually... Let me, let me see if I can hit him up. Maybe he can come here and defend himself. That, that sure. actually is... That, that's funny, that's though, that idea. you say that. Because um, he... Yeah, Sargon organizes his own events. He didn't need $40,000 for fucking security to do it. No, right? but like, he threw it together, got it together, got the venue, got people to show up. Everything's running smooth. Hey, honest, honest question now. Okay, honest question to everyone in this stream. Do you think this was just stupidity or do you think this was like honest to God malicious intent? I think why it was honest to God malicious intent by why base mama. Why, why not both? It starts as a stupidity and then she gets greedy and turns into malicious intent. No, I, I believe straight up from the beginning. She saw a couple of she, this is exactly what I think happened. She wanted to start a business, she wanted to do an event. She finally networks and meets YouTubers she thinks are gullible idiots. She gets them to promote the event with no contract signed, nothing for appearance fee, nothing for promotional tweets. Raises mm -hmm. a shit ton of money without any fucking contracts negotiated. 
makes public statements that she took out a $30,000 business loan when she has $375,000 in personal debt. Fuck that. No. She well, cannot well, take out a $30,000 loan when you have that much debt to credit ratio. I'm not retarded enough to believe that she pulled that. Somebody else put down the deposit on that hotel. Now, I could say who it is, but I'm going to leave their name out. Yeah, of it. yeah. yeah um, but that it was an $8,000 deposit. And then somebody calls the hotel and they tell them, no, it was actually $5,000. So Can even I just say if one she thing, did though? take out, what's but that? I think, though, okay, I agree with what you're saying. However, when we were made up that idea at that restaurant. I'm pretty sure in that moment, she had good intentions of all of us being able to speak. And then when she realized she had all of us on board, at least to like, maybe like talk there and promote, that's when her malicious intent started. Uh, Andy, Andy, why, why are you turning around and kissing the rapist that fucked your ass? I'm not, I'm not, no, <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Dave, Dave himself, who was starting this idea, his his in, initial perspective of everything was a good intent. Based Mama is the one who saw this opportunity as a, oh, fuck. So, yeah, like, I think the uh, um, initial idea was born out of, like, oh, this is cool. We're going to all talk there. And I'm not saying it was based Mama who thought that. Dave, for sure, was the one who was excited about this. I'm, I'm not even bringing him up into this. I'm saying base Mama bilked you idiots. She saw a bunch of gullible fucks that had hundreds of thousands of people that follow them. Look at how easy that money was. Three weeks. It took her three weeks to get 85000 fucking dollars. And she's on record saying... I can't promote the leftist academics that I want to show up there. We can't put their name up on the page. Hey, you're right. So, you're right, you're right. You know what? It, she wanted to fund a different <clears throat> event, and she saw you guys as a proxy for a fundraiser. I mean, she, yep. she fucked over everyone. And I mean everyone. Anybody's name that was on that page, she used you to raise money for what she wanted to do. Any profession, and I, Sister Danger goes on this thing, and she says, I'm a professional. I've done conventions before. Blah, 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 blah. Well, if you were sitting with her, at that fucking meeting, and then you and her are working out how to run this, and then you say you came back a few months later in October, well, then you surely were around when they were making their money and raising funds from November. You're 100% right. All right. You know what? Hey, hey, look. I was. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. She is. I'm listen, not giving anybody she, the benefit of the doubt. Stop walking it back, Andy. You got she is, no, 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 she is. She's a horrible human being. Uh, but, like, Dave was the one who was talking to me a, a lot about this idea. So my in, his intention was definitely a good intention. So yeah, you're right. Based Mama in particular, who ended up taking over the event and Dave dropping out. Yeah, okay. She obviously had nefarious plans because that one video, I didn't even watch that, uh, the one that, that you had in your video where she's like, you're all just fucking YouTubers. That means nothing. She was, yeah, wow. definitely. Yeah, she was after us all raising fucking money. It was fucking disgusting. You, you think she wanted corporate sponsorship, which is why she didn't want the alt right <laughs> controversial in it. Oh, that's, that makes so much sense. Maybe you're right. Yeah, that's a good believe idea. that could happen. No, oh. no, there's no, 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 but maybe she believed that could happen. She wanted a business model she could franchise out. They talked about bra uh, branding right. and trademarking and copywriting. Yeah, but but Jim, I watched your video and you do say that a corporate the person hates the most when they scroll down and they see nigger in the comment section. So maybe this is why she wanted to purify her event so that oh, maybe well, later let's, down let's, the line. Let's be fair here. When I say corporate person, I'm talking like a company that's not you know run by some chick from Arizona, uh, you know, in her free time after bilking YouTubers. I'm talking like corporate America, like you know, fucking. Big co companies like a uh, Google or something is it going to want to have uh, you know people scroll down and say nigger underneath their car ad? So Based you're saying with her high IQ, with her high IQ, she can't attract Google. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, she needs at least 198, not 178. Maybe a few more Rick and Morty episodes, and she'll be up there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, she is an intellectual anomaly. I want to buy. I want to make a shirt that says that. Like that's that's the best fucking quote. I mean, ever. she's not wrong about being an intellectual anomaly. Yeah. <laughs> That was a fucking racist. It's a fucking dummy. Now, Mr. Mitakar, this is all good talk. I appreciate. But there was a fact presented in the Tales of Trout number three. And someone is sending me emails claiming that you misrepresented her tweet. It's the ex-Muslim who tweeted something like, Ah, I just flagged the video without knowing what it is. 
I hope it was juicy. Ha 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 ha. She claims that it was a sarcastic tweet, not one admitting false flagging a video. Do you think she might be right? Uh, well, here's what I'll say. I have the full tweet archived. Habib, who was the admin on Crouch Server, had said, I flagged it. I did it. Her response to that was, I flagged it too. We are all Habibs. He made a joke about it, and she said, yeah, I flagged it. Uh, I hope it was juicy. Ha, ha, ha. As in, I didn't know what I flagged, but I saw you doing it, so I joined in. Yeah, now, You could interpret yeah. it in multiple ways. That's fine. But I would say this. She deleted her Twitter. All the shit. Mm -hmm. I, when I, before I did this video, I said, I want to make sure I have everything archived because these people are going to run. And what happens when the fucking video comes up? She yeah, runs. Well, well and also, out, why would she be mocking about Habib? Why would she think he didn't know? Well, can you also ask her why she made a video saying, you know, like, like almost like in a threatening manner and calling herself like, I'm an ex-terrorist. Just so you know, <laughs> I'm an ex-terrorist. No, I mean, it was yeah. clear from my email exchange with this lady that she, she, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a barbecue with this lady. It's like, <laughs> she seems pretty awkward. Uh, but no, that's a fair question. Uh, I, I had to, re you know, I had to cut shit down for time. I mean, the, there is the full tweet out there. I can pull up the archive. People can take a look and, and make their decision if they want to make their decision if they think it's different than what it is. But she went oh, after Tim Pool and said that he was a bad ally. She used a lot of SJWish language <laughs> uh, when he was talking about a simple contract, which is just stupid. Um, when I interacted with her, she said, don't fuck with ex-Muslims. When other people interacted with her, she said, do you want to play a threat game? We can play a threat game. What she'll do is she'll talk a bunch of shit and say really outlandish stuff and then immediately remove it an hour or two hours later to make it look like she never said it. So, like, if you want to say it's a joke, keep it up. If it's a joke, right, why would you delete it? Why did you delete it? This was before her account deletion, by the way. Yeah. She pulled those tweets down. At least throw an LOL after you, you know, threatened Well, no, no, I'm saying even, even if it's the best sarcastic joke in the world, why would you delete it after saying it? I actually have someone DMing me at the moment. He says, hey, dude, there's actually a lot more than that. I have more info on it being malicious. <clears throat> so Dave didn't want contracts at all. Zero. He flipped out when they were made. That's part of the reason he left. Based has closed her Twitter, and Dave was the one who got the loan. Uh, dude, 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 shh. You, 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 I'm just gonna say this now. You're, you're, you're making Dave Cullen's life really bad if you keep going forward talking about what you're talking about. Did you know they didn't actually drop the contracts? They, they they said on their Facebook that they're just preparing certain slots where you won't need the contracts, and that they'll be on a first come first serve basis. Yeah, because Andy, you just it, like the the allegation. I want I want you to understand what's going to happen. Somebody's going to sue. The state's going to get involved, and if the information comes out that it's Dave Cullen that didn't want contracts, then Dave Cullen's on the the line. But well, here's the thing. But here's the thing is um, if. If someone sues, and this person is messaging me right now saying, if if someone sues, that information is out there. There's a ton of information about the loans, screenshots. There's obviously the actual loan itself about Kilroy that shows who, who took out the loan. Uh, so it's all already out there. So whoever, look, I love Dave, and I this stinks that he's part of the situation. And... I hope everyone got their refund, by the way. We posted, yes, yeah, so so Based Mama is actually on the Kilroy name legally, right? Uh, I looked at the uh, the uh, LLC, the incorporation of it. I don't know whose name that is, but it's it's not Dave's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So what the question is now is the, the bullshit that happened with false promotion, is this based on the person who is on the LLC or is it the person who took out the loan or is it whoever's whoever's oh. name is in like if this is a corporation if it's an LLC if they incorporate it or whatever whoever's name is on that is the one that's going to get fucked so whoever was so getting paid means, whoever was what? getting paid money is the one that's fucked so then that the means Dave, is he's going to get served yeah i think i think Dave then just taking out the loan and giving it to based mama to pay her name is on the LLC, so she's getting fucked in the ass. Dave just took out the money. She was the one who ran the false promotion and the contracts, as we know right now, based on the evidence. 
Yeah, my, David, my, my concern yeah. is that she's going to try to throw this off onto him. Yeah, but there's evidence of her her saying all this shit, and she's on on the contract on the LLC. She could try as much as she wants, but all the evidence points at based mama is the one who ran all this stuff. Oh, also, Andy, did you see the stuff with, uh, you know, because JF brought this up about Sister Danger? Uh, somebody, when I was just at the tail end of the third video, um, had said she had been involved in a GoFundMe scam uh, of raising money to get somebody out of Egypt that uh, that didn't happen, and people refused refunds for that. Really? It was something like Joe the Pharaoh, right? Yeah, yeah. And they had a lot of evidence. They did a two- or three-hour stream on it, a bunch of screen caps of people saying, where's my money? This didn't happen. This was all bullshit. Oh. And I know her and Based Mama are friends, and she's suddenly ducking and covering. So... You know, so, that, that's another interesting angle to look at. I didn't have enough time to she go is who it. she says she is. I don't know. Well, I, I, have, I, don't I have a name, but I don't know if I can attach that name to who she is. So I just didn't add it. Well, well, basically, I think what happened here was based took fucking Dave for a ride. Uh, he probably had better credit than <laughs> she has. More ways than one, if you want to go on rumor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope at the very least he got that out of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least the fucking BJ, right? A quick BJ. But I think what happened was she wanted to run this corporation. You have video evidence of Based and Sister Danger talking about turning this into a a fucking what do you call it? A um a franchise like it's fucking McDonald's or some shit. Dave took the money out, but Based Mama's entire name is littered all over this shit. He pulled out. And she's the LLC owner. She admitted on video, I am Kilroy. And then she also has herself admitting that she promoted people without fucking um, having them on contract, which is illegal. Base Mama is fucked. She wants to talk tonight. And basically all I'm going to say is, and besides all this, by the way, this whole thing of, of her being fucked in the ass right now, she has pretty much tarnished all of our names, if we ever try and run any Kickstarter for anything like this ever again, no one will donate, and I do not blame them. So, I don't blame them either. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't donate for any fucking event you knuckleheads come up with. Fucking shit. Oh, come on, Medicare. Why not? I'm being dead serious <laughs> with you. Are you kidding? I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking gullible. Uh, you could tell me that Tiny Tim's going to die of cancer tomorrow unless I give you a million dollars. I'm not giving you a fucking penny. <laughs> I think I think the way you can get something like this started because I it wasn't it like an alternative to VidCon or something you know like let's have yeah. our version right if you want to get something like this started um, you would have to have some YouTuber do it by himself without getting any money from crowdfunding but making a loan from the bank show that it can function and then start growing it by involving other YouTubers over the years I I don't think you can crowdfund it at least not in the near future. The people but, running it have to take the risk. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. It should be on them. 100%. Well, an $85,000. Like when I heard that, I, I thought we were going to have like, you know, a little haul, you know, just talk a little bit, meet some viewers. That was it. And then I just see $85,000. And then it's like, hey, hey, you know how we offered you a panel? Well, here's a list of panels you could choose from. What the fuck is this shit? Ugh. Uh, again, I go back to what, uh, and people in the chat are saying the same thing, as funny as it sounds. Sargon's doing, uh, right, V, he's doing like This Week in Stupid Live for audiences, isn't he? Yeah, he did it in London. Um, yeah, from what yeah, I spoke I mean, with him, it was a really uh, good event. Like, he sold all the tickets in the first week. So he was able to do this himself. I mean, maybe he had a person helping him, but he actually got the event. He got the venue, yeah. sold the tickets, got it set up. There weren't any issues. He had the puppet guy there. Um, I think he really <laughs> went to go. I, I think was little wanted to go. I'm, I'm not sure if he went, um, but yeah, it was himself basically and two other guys. That was his entire staff. And from what he said, the entire event uh, was quite pleasant and everything went well. So there you go. So it's doable. It's doable he, just to set it up. He wants to do it again, and he wants to involve more people the second time around. The way someone's going to fuck with an event like that is going to be like swatting anyway. And what can you do about that? Well, if it's in Britain, there is no SWAT. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm thinking of Kilroy. <laughs> What yeah, are you going yeah. to do, American police in Eastern Europe? <laughs> Yo, honestly, I, I had, like, even aside from all the sketchy stuff, I had a bad vibe with what might have happened there, just security-wise. Like, I don't know. I just had a really, like, all these ex-Muslims and, like, 
or his fucking Andy, chill with the fourteen eighty eight. Chill. <laughs> yeah. Look, Andy, Andy, Andy. Okay, Britain yeah. doesn't have SWAT, and America doesn't have the the terrorist from Germany, so it, it's still fine. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just a America paranoid motherfucker. Acid attacks. There are, but not like Germany. I don't think so. I was looking like during the last Ramadan in Europe, and it was like one a day or something like that. And I was like, oh. it stopped being. Wait, did even... you just say one a day acid attacks? Where <laughs> during Ramadan, it, it, like there weren't major or anything like that. But if you were no, I'd say, I wouldn't classify <laughs> like, fucking acid in your face as a minor thing. What are you talking about? Well, hey man, don't judge. keep the thoughts away. Depends what you're comparing with, right? If you're comparing with the rock concert where how they... about how about getting water thrown in your face? How does that compare to getting some water thrown in your face or some milk? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. It's it's not like uh, when they went into a rock concert and castrated a guy, forced him to eat his testicles, and that kind of thing. You know, I mean, there, there's different <laughs> levels, <laughs> right? There's there's different uh, levels you can escalate this. Well, yeah, We're but you can't. You can't compare getting. You could be like, well, you know, shit. Getting acid thrown in your face is bad, but at least I didn't get gang raped by Bengal tigers. Like, let's keep it within the realm of shit happening on the street, V. <laughs> no, but as I was saying, like during Ramadan, if you looked at the news throughout the European Union, there was like at least one minor event happening per day, right? Not nothing that would make the front page news, but it was still like a by the way. And I was like, okay, this doesn't happen in the United States, does it? Like you, you don't have this type of uh, terrorist activity going on. That's because we're building a wall, buddy. <laughs> oh, this fucking chat does not. St oh my god, this fucking Jim, you you open a can of worms, man. It's just fucking Andy a twenty-two for every Jew Warski. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined oh. me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Braving Rune just donated. Adam, if you touch a kid, I'll murder a yid. Worski. Yeah, that one was said before. <laughs> I fucking love it. Earlier, I, I saw someone on the chat say, Adam, fuck the evidence, but not the kid, Worski. <laughs> <laughs> is this the legendary... Okay, Sergeant Buck, five bucks. Is this really the legendary Adam Adolf, touch a child whore, you'll get my M4, Worski? <laughs> Well, okay. My and dad called me. Not, not kind of my dad <laughs> called me after that stream at three thirty in the morning. He's like, "I woke up for a midnight snack. Why is everyone saying you're fucking planning on murdering people at Hasbro?" <laughs> Like that, Jesus Christ! He's I just laughing. like that every time that you go through describing these events, you keep making statements like murdering people at Hasbro. So when I clip this together as a death threat and send it to them, they're gonna take it super serious. Why would you do Medi that? Medicare. <laughs> because it's funny. That's why. Medicare, look. There's lulls. I get it. My name, get my it. name is Andy Worski, and I'm coming for you. No. Let me put it this way. If, if Worski lands in jail, and with his avatar, they don't even need to make a mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that happens, where are you going to get your info from? Because this stream is going to go down as well. <sighs> Medicare. Where are you going to get the material? Your, your face on that stream, by the way, was fucking priceless. It it alternated between yeah. laughing and am I going to go to prison, which was <laughs> just a great, great spectrum. Yeah, if anyone wants to watch it on the related videos, you'll see I, I made like a, a, a clipped out version of the whole thing. Mr. Medicare turns Andy into a living meme. Uh, that was all the gut busting laugh ones that were were done that night. That was fuck. It was funny oh, as fuck. I, I don't know who this fucking medic you keep talking about. I'm Billy the Ant. Sorry, sorry, Billy. Sorry, sorry. Thank sorry, you, Billy. Jeez, I always forget. My bad. Yeah, bullying is wrong. Read the T-shirt. <laughs> be, be a friend. Don't be a bully. Um. Yeah, but if you if you are you gonna stream that conversation with uh, Base Mama tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna be the Base Mama. I think you owe everyone a fucking apology. I'll play good cop. Um. For a while, but she has to, she has to fess up. You know, honestly, it ha it has to be live. Honestly, if if she does it in private, it's gonna be sketchy anyway. For her. I mean, no one likes her right now anyway. I'm I mean, beyond fucking doesn't like her. She scammed us. Oh well, yeah, I, I'm actually curious because like I I covered this, but you were part of it, but. Like layman, harmful, you know, VJF. Like, what do you guys think watching this all transpire? Like, what were your thoughts on it with the Kilroy event, just as a whole? 
I am pissing my pants in laughter. <laughs> I, I, here's the thing. I, you know, I, I wish those guys all the best. You know, if you want to have your nice little echo chamber conference, you know, go, go the fuck ahead. You know, have your ball pits. You know, jerk each other off and and backstage. I, I don't care. But <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least, don't scam out eighty. <laughs> For me, the fun started as soon as they reacted to Tim Paul saying something about the contracts. As soon as that happened, I knew it was going to be magical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she yeah, admitted to me, it. It's done, by the way. It moved from a very philosophical point, which was, well, it seems that you guys are banning the people on the right, so you're not really an event about free speech. You're not uh, holistic enough. Down to right now, where my, my essentially my position, my question is, did base mama uh, suck uh, Dave Cullen's dick? I hope. <laughs> I, I fucking I, I I disavow. I right there. I disavow. I was excited about it in the beginning because it was like an alternative to VidCon, and I thought that if it's done properly, it would have blown up. And I think it would have blown up if it was done uh, with good intentions. Mm -hmm. um, but when I saw what's happening, I was like, oh. This this is definitely going to fall, and I I still wonder if it's going to get canceled. Imagine getting a blowjob so good that you're okay with a scam going on. <laughs> no, because th there are many scams in the in the world, which is essentially that. It starts with a blowjob, and then it's like the female wants to do something. The male is like, okay, well, she just sucked my dick. Maybe we should do it. I mean, a lot of the great political moments. Of history, are start with a blowjob. <laughs> this is my version of the story, though. Maybe she actually just wanted to to have it legit, and then she realized that she's getting so much money and so many people that she said, "Okay, maybe I can get some corporate sponsorship. Let's just push away the uh, unmentionables and make sure we get everyone to sign an NDA uh, so they don't talk about anything wrong that we're doing." Um, and when she saw that people started backing up, she went into full damage control mode. You know, you, you bring up a good point about the, uh, this is why I don't know necessarily about the corporate sponsorship thing. Uh, because she got rid of the right wingers, right? Like, you know, okay, we can't have a baked Alaska there, or we can't like have a James Elsop there or something because we don't, or, you know, uh, a Faith Goldie, you know, disavow, disavow, disavow kind of thing. But she does say that she was going to have a lot of really, I mean, she said herself, like, left leaning activists that, like they couldn't even list because they're considered uh, risky or dangerous. So even if you got rid of the right wingers, uh, you'd still be left with maybe some pretty extremist people on the left. So wouldn't that fuck the corporate sponsorship angle? You, you think Toyota doesn't sponsor Young Turks when talking about uh, uh, police violence and uh, how fuck white people narrative goes? I mean, from my experience, uh, the corporate the corporations don't have anything against uh, far leftists. Unless you're like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I read that article that Zink put up about uh, about bitches and hoes. So maybe he's not as leftist as we all are led to believe. Yeah, did you just call him Zank? Zank, Gank, Crank. Zank. I don't fucking know. Listen, no. I don't repeat the names of people. Mr. I don't, I don't, you I don't pronounce them properly. In the hey, 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 hey. I don't <laughs> pronounce their names properly if they will not acknowledge the Armenian genocide. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I actually yeah. called out Sargon on that. Like he's like, oh no, we have to help Cheng. Cheng did nothing wrong. No, Cheng made his bed. He needs to get fucked in it. He trained those people that are now going after him. He built the culture where a simple accusation means that uh, it's okay to just destroy that person's livelihood. I, I, you know, I'm not going to uh, help those people burn him down, but I don't have to save him either. Hey, I'd like to jump in here and remind people. Do you remember when um, it, I think Sargon did this too? But it was more important that it was Milo that did it. You remember the um, the girl over in the UK who said all the extremist shit, and they wanted to get rid of her as like a vice president or like the student council or some shit. And they were all defending her, saying, "Oh, it's free speech. We need to defend her." Did she ever speak up when Milo was getting persecuted or when Sargon got you know when people were going after that? Like, what's this motivation to go out and help these people that yeah make their he's own gullible. And refuse to he, he's very gullible. He thinks that Chenk is going to realize, okay, look, these people are bad and I got helped by these good people. Maybe I should reevaluate my life views. That I don't think that's gonna happen. They never fucking learn, these guys. They don't. They that like the, 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 you, get, you get to read everywhere. 
You, you get to read articles in the news with uh, no border activists who have like a purple dick in their in their ass and they're still going like, oh, uh, Muslims are good. Uh, there's nothing to see here. Uh, hashtag no border activism. Like they never learn, no matter what happens. And and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. This, this whole, whole situation. There was this, this Swedish politician, right? He got raped by some Muslims. And uh, then he actually says that he feels sorry that the Muslims he, uh, that raped him is now being deported. And he actually had like this article going oh, around. Oh, the sex was that good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was just a great you know, cocky. <laughs> it's it's Jim, great. Jim, rape can be pleasant. It really depends on which side of the Muslim cock you're situated at. <laughs> is, that, is that how that works? Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. that's fucking hilarious. Oh I mean, God. I guess you're, if they want to be really serious about their claims for no borders, how do you deal with your asshole? Mm, yeah, that's true. Fucking. There was another case, I think it's still in Sweden, where one no border activist got raped. She started talking against it and her allies wouldn't let her speak because it's like you're ruining the cause or some shit. I mean, I, this was like two years ago when I was reading it on my channel. I, I couldn't believe what I'm reading. Like, how indoctrinated are these people? And and if yeah. you're going to think that these people are going to go like, yeah, you know what? These are good, decent humans that saved me when I was in the bath, so I'm not going to change my life views. I, I honestly don't think that's going to be the case. Yeah, V, I'd agree. It's really fucked up when you're part of a group and then you speak out against something they do and then they all come after you. That's that's pretty terrible, isn't it? Hey, speaking of that, uh, Harmful, what happened with that candid thing? I thought you were going to talk about that a little bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did earlier. You want me to uh, bring that up again? How? Um, Let's get some fire started, boys. Let's get this going. Uh, give give me, me a few minutes, guys. I'll I'll be back. Andy's running to clean his history. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> please, 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 please do not uh, tweet any any corporations that I'm on the way to murder them. Right, Medicare? Thanks. Or Billy? Sorry, my bad. All right, let's play some gay porn. He's gone. Oh, yeah. It's free. Anybody got screen share up? Want to put on some hardcore gay porn? Get him. Get, get the uh, fuck out of here! No! No! How get about out some, of uh, how about um, some straight porn? You know, something with traps. <laughs> oh, you're jumping into this debate. Right? I'm, starting, I'm, I'm starting to be able to dox you, Jim. I think you worked for CNN when they uh, posted that uh, porn all night long. There you go. You got me. I was also <laughs> on. Um, Oh, uh, there, my joke just went right down the toilet because I forgot it's Ted Cruz. Uh, yeah, Ted Cruz shit when his intern posted the pornography on his Twitter account, but that's dead. <laughs> that's dead in the gutter. God damn it. Uh, I wonder, like, what the conversation next morning when someone walked into the CNN office and saw it. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, the only reason I brought the Canada thing up, though, and, and this is kind of interesting to me, is I've, I've seen with the race realism debate going back and forth and how Kraut and them had their, their side they wanted to take on it and go after it. I saw TJ Kirk threw his hat in the ring, wants to get got, wants to get involved in that. And I seem to remember him being involved in Candid. So that's just I wanted to bring up some old time mm. memories. Do we have any people. news from uh, TJ Kirk? Because he said he was about to, to release something about race realism, but he totally uh, didn't do it, right? I, I think he's dealing with... Um... He just uh, dropped a drunken peasants. Like he's he's oh, done yeah. with it. So I'm sure he's just dealing with some of that fallout right now. So I, I got a question, okay? And this is for you, Jim. Do you agree yeah. that if a YouTuber who has like racist views has a Coca-Cola ad on his channel, is Coca-Cola endorsing that YouTuber? I put up a video eight months ago, nine months ago. Most people didn't watch it. It was just kind of in a one-off called A Bigot's Dollar, uh, talking about the concept of does it matter? Like you're saying that, okay, you have a platform and you're advertising on that platform and maybe the YouTuber has some kind of extremist view one way or the other, but you're still getting eyes on the product. So, you know, is a bigot's dollar worth less than a non-bigot's dollar as far as advertising reach goes? Uh, and a couple of people talked about it because I thought it was interesting. This is, I think, right as the adpocalypse or whatever the fuck it was was starting. Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, corporations, I don't think really care. I, I have a feeling that a lot of the adpocalypse star, uh, shit in the beginning had more to do with them wanting a better bargaining position. But I think the stuff that recently happened with all the pedophile shit that's going on on YouTube, it, that has <laughs> yeah, legitimately hurt them. As this is this is different than the adpocalypse. Now people are like, well, I don't want to 
I don't want to put ads up on a platform that's got fucking six year old girls naked in the bathtub and shit. Like, what the fuck is Especially going on? Especially when, if you look into uh, magazines for advertisers, sometimes they run little polls, and people, the the majority, by, like like if I remember correctly, fuck, it was like sixty percent. If you poll people and say, "Do you associate a product with what it appears on?" the majority do say yes. Granted, like the the examples I saw were tiny sample sizes, which probably wouldn't count in serious academia or whatever. I but can actually never do that. Well, let's, uh, let, let, let's reverse the question. Have now, you seen right? serious stuff on that? This yeah, is where I wanted to go. Would you uh, associate a YouTuber promoting a product like that website you talked about in the beginning? Which website? Would you, uh, the one that was trying to get you to write scholarship something, something. Uh, oh, the, uh, the Edison one? Right, right, right. So my question is, if you see like Monday no, Math, for talked instance, about this. I talked about this on Layman Stream. I I think Edison is a shitty service, but I don't. I if because uh, we brought up this. Remember this Layman? We specifically brought up Bering, um, and I said yeah. I yeah you know, I don't care. <laughs> you know, if he's putting it in his description and he's saying what it is and he's being open about it, it it means little to me. Just like it would mean little to me if Coca Cola put up on an ad on the fucking Daily Stormer. <laughs> Yeah, that, I, I agree with that. Here's the thing. Um, there is a uh, short-term association between brand and the person, or rather the company or the platform that is advertising it. But both in mid and long term, the association seems to diminish to a very noteworthy degree. So basically, you're left with... Um, th there are a few really interesting ads that, that were highly controversial in Europe. Uh, because they ran on certain platforms but nowadays everyone just remembers the ad and the product but the controversy is just kind of gone so yeah short term is a problem mid and long term just completely irrelevant do you I mean, think that you... that first bit is what scares people away oh, do, yeah, you think, do you think the advertisers being aware of that scares them away if i were to watch jim's channel and i see like five seconds him advertising widgets or whatever right i would assume that he is getting don't. money from yeah, he, he's you're getting money from the company and I will also assume the worst like you're not allowed to say anything negative about those widgets You're not allowed to talk if you notice something shady going on with the widgets um, And I would assume it's a commercial that you're using in order to gain financial gain Well, here, here's two things that I that I would raise in response to this and I think this cuts to the heart of the advertising shit whether you're doing paid promotions or whether ads are appearing on your videos um, My personal stance is I don't do those I've gotten offers. I had one offer for like five grand to promote a streaming service. I had another offer for a couple hundred bucks to promote apps and shit like that. And it got to the point where they wouldn't stop sending this shit to me. So I said, if you continue to send this to me, I'm going to advertise your product for free and I'm going to do it in a clan hood <laughs> and I'm going to do it talking about white nationalism. So that, that put an end to that. Um, I, I, like I said, if you want to be upfront and chill for something, fine. You're being upfront and chilling for it. My problem is when you enter into a contractual uh, relationship with a company, and then that company is paying you to do shady shit that's outside of that simple business transaction. And that's, what caught, like them, that's what caught my attention with Candid, where it felt it like- weird shit, because it, it yeah. could have been just my first video. My first video was like, like, hey, look, these guys are promoting this. You really need to know about this bit. But then it's the shit that came after that that meant I had to keep carrying on. I mean, Shu said she didn't have a th thing in her contract stopping her from uh, criticizing it. That turned out to just be a lie. She deleted the tweet, but I have yeah. it archived, naturally. Um, we had Baron come to me and tell me, hey, the, the guy who hooked me up originally came to me and he, he shared the message with me and he said, oh, we've got some people doing counterfeit to this guy who's criticizing us. Do you want to do one too? We'll pay you. And, and, um, all that sort of shit. Uh, can you be surprised that I was annoyed at them? Isn't every company doing this? I mean, wasn't, uh, what was his name? No. Andrew Joe caught I'm with. Sure I, even will, legal. I, will, I will guarantee you that there is no, Coca-Cola and Pepsi and all these other companies will push through with their own branding and marketing and their own messaging, but they are not going to pay you to go make a fucking mercenary videos to take down some dude that says well, you're yeah, product do, is shit. Yeah, okay. no, 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 based on the suggestion that that was happening. Right, I, no, I have I, a bit of background knowledge about Pepsi oh. and Coke. <laughs> let's, hear it, let's hear it, my dude. Actually are fucking nuts. Like, <laughs> did you when, know when that Pepsi went to uh, the military? Oh, 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 oh. Is this the one? Worldwide hotels are marketed and marked as either 
Pepsi or Coke hotels, right? And if you, as a member of the upper branch of management, for example, of Coca-Cola, visit a Pepsi hotel, that is a reason to fucking fire you. <laughs> uh, may I just say one thing? <clears throat> if the skeptics hated me before, they'll probably hate me a little bit more now. What with my face being on um, the... If you scroll down a little bit on the Daily Stormer. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Embrace the 1488 and no, isn't that the publication the Jim is working at? Because he got like two videos on the daily. Star yeah, do you know that uh, England put up my flat earth video on there and he got so many people telling him that it was uh, the flat earth uh, or the globe was a Jewish conspiracy? He had to put up an article calling them retards. Oh. Do, do you know you even have like a far leftist university professor that put, puts your videos up on her Twitter? Yeah, you, well? you, you'd mention that, but I thought it was funnier that I had people at the Democratic National uh, like Strategy Commission following me. And I can't shake them. I don't know why they follow me. I'll put out statements like, I believe the DNC is responsible for Seth Rich's murder, and this person must agree because they follow me. And he still follows me. How many people does he follow? Does he have a follow button? Uh, no, no, he's he's follows a lot of people, but I, I think if you tweet out the organization you're working for killed a man, he probably is going to see that. <laughs> you know what I think? It's that you actually make really good political videos. I mean, you called out the European Union before anyone else did. I saw your video where you compared the European Union to some yeah, American I've Union. I've been making videos for the last year about people putting bicycle pumps up their ass. I don't yeah, understand. That's <laughs> <what they're doing. laughs> yeah, actually, just so everyone knows, the... Uh, the Stormer thing, it's on the right, and the guy, I guess, who runs the social media retweeted Medicare, uh the tweet that says, his smile and optimism gone, and it's just a picture of me. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just out of context, I'm up there on Daily Stormer. It's pretty fucking funny, but Jesus Christ. Now all these these Nazi memes aren't aren't really as funny as before. <laughs> You just, just Andy, just roll with it. I, I've done videos I am, on I furries. I am rolling with it. Believe me. Yeah, yeah. That. But what, I'm what I'm saying is, I, I've done videos on furries. I have furries that watch my videos. I've done fucking videos on, uh, like all the deviants videos. Like half the fucking fan art I've ever got were from people in those communities laughing about how fucking retarded this shit was. Just yeah. gotta, you're gonna have a, a audience made up of everybody. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. What yeah. if, Jim? What if tomorrow you release another political video? I, I'm really not that into politics. The most I talked about it was with the fucking, uh, uh, yeah, what was his name? James Damore or whatever it was with the Google shit. And that was for, you know, I went on a tangent for like a month and then I went back to talking about people shitting themselves. Yeah, you don't really do politics videos that, at that, all. That's what someone that would try to get a politics video past the DNC would say, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, but I, I, there's just, it doesn't enter. Like, I'm sorry, man, but I've reached a point where I'm so tired of halls of debate shit. I'm so tired of politics and I'm so fucking tired of watching video number 852 on some dumb, fat, blue haired feminist said this. Like, I would rather eat a fucking bullet than just do it anymore. I just can't fucking do that anymore. Yeah. I want to go back to a time on the Internet where people just made fun of each other and you laughed at stupid fucking shit because it was funny. Yeah. And that's that was my main attraction to crowd thing. I know a lot of people are taking like a moral, you know, like a high moral ground shit. Um, it's cringy as shit running a 24 hour obsession in a Discord server and calling it like Operation Red Mackerel and shit. That is so cringy. So that's what attracted me to it. Uh, the only thing that legitimately pissed me off was the New York Times thing. Like, you can't run a boycott on these people and then suck PewDiePie's dick and then turn around and invite them into your Discord to do the same shit to somebody else. Yeah, uh, uh, where do you think like all this has led to, aka you know Tonka's channel blowing up, where it's just internet blood sports? You know this channel having like a lot of people just on, like not I, I won't even like, use the word debating. Is this where you think it's gonna go, where it's just a bunch of people just finally meet up and just have internet blood sports? Wasn't this uh, the King of Pole thing during GamerGate? Yeah, but King King of Pole can't. King of Pole can keep it together enough to do internet blood sports. <laughs> Jesus, you know, I, you know, like, his spaghetti explodes from his pockets daily, and I've told him before to cool it down, and he never listens. You need somebody like I like fucking uh, the morning Kumite shit with Tonka. Yeah. Like that, that's some funny stuff, man. You get a couple yeah. people in there, you just let them go at each other. That's entertaining. 
I, you can't, I don't think, really ask your chat this. Uh, chat, be honest with me here. Are you not sick to death of all the fucking fart huffing, I'm so intellectual, let's talk about the same shit in a monotone voice for eight hours shit? Like, is that not played itself out by this point? Are we not ready to cycle on to something new on YouTube? What are you point? talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am talking about the fucking... Uh, okay, let me give you an example. Uh, dumb fucking blue-haired feminist does a video. So let's have a fucking eight-hour live stream talking about the dumb-haired feminist doing videos. And then it, it's just... It, it's a very specific section, but it's a section that's become so overplayed. It's a really hard yeah. anti-SJW foothold you're, you're, and it's just become monotonous at this point you're taking it out of the biblical context jim um because back then if you did that there were channels that got shut down for doing it like monday map for instance he got community strikes um there were like what wasn't it milo who got like a syringe in the uh in the post Someone got a dead badger as well, if I remember correctly. Like, yeah, but like, V, yeah, V, Gamergate's over. That was three and yeah, a half years. I, I agree, right? But but this is what I'm saying because back then you would not see a guy having the balls to challenge a feminist in a forum, and now that I'm looking at uh, different forums like websites or you know video gaming websites or Magic the Gathering or stuff like that, you do see people coming up and actually debating these feminists and pushing back, um, not institutionally, but at least on the internet culture, feminists are treated as a joke. And I do think that what you're saying is true. It was successful to go after them. Yeah. And maybe now people... Like, and I'm not, I'm not saying they're not dumb and it's not funny watching videos about mm -hmm. it, but like, I just, I'm sick to death of it. I can't do it anymore. Well, I yeah, just it's can't like fucking do off it to the, It's like jerking off to the same porn every single day for like a year and a half. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, I need something new. You know, I felt like this while I was posting videos for like the past few months. I said this before, but... I would just go, oh, so what's, you know, what's everyone, like, what's the headline we're talking about today? And then you sort the of have to. direct compilation, part yeah. 27 of 38. Yeah. And again, like, if something important comes out where it actually affects something and people want to make videos, that's fine and stuff. But, like, yeah, I I, I agree with Jim, where or Billy, rather, sorry, uh, where it's just this mundane constantly the same thing and people are and everyone's been talking about you know being bored with this but people still do it because they're scared to step out of that bubble or that box where you know they're scared the audience will leave them and go this is not what i subscribed for you know what i mean like yeah, but if, uh, like in any business, if you're chasing your audience, you've already lost i'm just gonna yeah. be honest like you either lead the way or you're gonna fall and stumble it's just uh -huh. the brutal reality of it yeah, you got to nut the fuck up and, you know, blaze a new path. <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. And and that's why, like, I spoke to Bunty. I'm going to talk to him later on, on his show because I talked to him for three and a half hours and finally convinced him that everything that, that we were saying about all this and, you know, the, the uh, you know, the hierarchy of the skeptics and all this bullshit and Kilroy, I convinced him to finally see the fucking light. Like I said, I'm like, do any of these people fucking DM you? Hey, what's up? How you doing? No, no one cares. It's just, oh, I don't want to piss off person, you know, who has X amount of subscribers because they could possibly, you know, promote me someday. No, I think you know? it's also like you invest your reputation by banking on something and then you find out it's a scam. And now you have to, you know, you're probably praying until the last moment. It's like, please don't let it be a scam. Please don't let it be a scam. And then it finally comes up and it's like, oh, shit, now I have to tell my audience. This is why I don't promote anything on my channel. Um, and I also get, you know, like, I don't get like you, Jim, $5,000. Uh, I do get that like- That was a ridiculous hundred. fucking amount. And, and <laughs> yeah. I, half, the time I think, half the time I think that shit's a trap, so I don't respond. But I was like, here, why am I going to do that? I'm not going to fucking promote whatever the fuck this service is not happening. Yeah, I do get things for a hundred bucks, though. Um, and it's like, no, I, I just don't want to get into it because the drama surrounding it is really great, if, uh, especially if it turns out to be a fake. Hey, Jim, what's your favorite uh, uh, battle so far that you've seen over the past few weeks? Like, what's one that you're like, oh, that was fucking good? Uh, There's so much to, to go through, but... Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. I liked uh, I liked Johnny Fox and Monday and Matt because Monday oh. and got a little bit heated during that one. <laughs> he, he got he got a little bit heated on that. And there were a couple questions where he, uh, he backpedaled, like uh, the questions from the audience. You know, what do you think of Sargon? And he kind of stumbled on that one. The funnier one, though, and the one I wish people would press him a little more on, 
is in some of that leaked crowd audio. Crowd said, uh, "Mundane Matt has a uh, admin that runs his Discord that's a pedophile," and Matt did not seem to want to talk about that. Wait, what? what? Oh, yeah, the, oh yeah, oh yeah. Crowd audio, yeah. You, you know the when Tonka, people talk uh, stream, right? In the Tonka stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, oh, that was that was month, that was months ago and whatever. I, he said I talked to the guy, so it's not a big deal. I don't know. Kraut seemed pretty fucking convinced there was some. This guy was a, a pretty bad guy to the point of where he wanted to find the girl's parents and try to warn them. Jesus fucking Christ! You know, oh, so they didn't just find out he likes kids. They found out he's he's got like a target. Yeah, Kraut said that this guy was specifically targeting some chick. Uh, and Kraut wanted to find out who she was so he could call her parents, essentially, and say there's a pedo after you. And it turned out this guy was running a bunch of people's Discord servers, and one of them happened to be Mundane Mats. Ooh. You know, when I signed up for this entire fucking YouTube thingy, all I wanted to do was, was to talk about bullshit, you know, have some fun, and not do all this autistic community shit. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, if, if, what if is you wanna... happening? If you want to tone it down to 11, tone it up to 11, uh, Andy, you said you'll give me 100 bucks if I'm here. I will give you 200 bucks if you manage to get Jim and Darkside Phil in the same stream to have All a good right. audition. You're gonna, I know. You know, first off, you're going to need 500 because the last I heard, Phil charges $500 for an interview. Really? Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay, let's get Base Mama to run a go GoFundMe. <laughs> We could set that up. Have you guys been keeping up with that, by the way? Like that's a, a, with the dark side, Phil, the craziest story I've ever heard. <laughs> Have you heard the new the new theory going around? No, no. The, the hooker. Uh, the new theory going around is the reason he's so desperate for money isn't a tax bill, but a woman has come forward saying she's a high end escort from Europe, and she has dates and information, <laughs> and she says she has a contract, an NDA with Phil, and that it you know there were uh, upfront payment and then a later payment, and that if he doesn't pay the later <laughs> payment by a certain date. She doesn't have to agree to the NDA, and she can release all information about their sex, about his physical appearance, <laughs> about their meetup dates. And it, and it gets weirder still, because apparently he has this new girlfriend he'll only show pictures from the back of. And people are convinced because one of his mods was talking to him, and um, he's never talked about making brownies before, but this, this escort had said they made brownies together. So the mod said, have you ever made brownies with this girl? And he's like, yes. And so now they're convinced that Phil is hiring European hookers and trying to raise money, <laughs> trying to raise money to avoid what? being blackmailed at January twelfth. You you think this is uh, what got the divorce? I don't or, fucking or the break know what up is going on. The breakup with the yeah. I don't know what is going on. But why would you why would you contract a hooker from outside the country? Like that is so bizarre to me. <laughs> so By the way, for, for the people in the chat, thing? half the, now, half later. That's what I found suspicious. I, I have my I, I I'm not buying into this, but it's a fucking spectacle to watch. For, for the people in the chat, this is a guy who was streaming nonstop, and at one point his girlfriend was sick <laughs> and in the bed, and he's like, he was calling her to to go down from the bed while sick in the kitchen to make him a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, well, there's more than that. He got mad at her for having to be rushed to the hospital for a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> like he made a vlog about it, bitching about uh, having to go to the hospital because his girlfriend freaked out and needed an ambulance. Wait, and then wait, two days later, wait. she broke up with him. Is is that the dude? Is that the fucking dude that in the fucking Deus Ex level was too retarded to crouch jump? Yes. 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 That yeah. I'm not surprised. I the am same not... the same guy that got caught masturbating on stream on Twitch. I am not surprised, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So I don't know, but that's been going. I have a lot of people messaging me about that. I, that's all I know on it, but it's a spectacle to watch. So I can't confirm or deny one way or the other, but I, I don't know. Is that a thing? Would you would you hire a hooker from another country and then sign an NDA with her? That sounds so fucking well, convoluted. Maybe, maybe he's into some kinky shit that only that particular hooker would provide. Uh, I, God, well, we'll find out on the 12th, I guess. On the 12th, so then we learned that blowjobs and NDAs are behind every important event in history. <laughs> yo, um, hey, yo, I'll be back in two seconds. Start, guys. Okay, let's get that gay porn All rolling. Right. All right, let's do this. Andy's gone. <laughs> no, just show some DSP um, cooking because that's a health hazard and it will shut the stream down. <laughs> So what is part four coming out, Mr. Mitaker? I, I, that's the last one. I was going to do two parts and put them together into one. It'll be like 45 minutes, uh, probably tomorrow or the day after, and then it's done. And I'm oh. going back to 
back to my normal shit. I'm burnt out on this stuff. This fucking oh yeah group and this community, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, I've had my fill. I'm going back to laughing at uh, laughing at DeviantArt and crazy people on the internet. That's uh, that's my yeah. that's my thing. So how much would you pay me so I don't even drop even more information on Kraut so that you have to make like part eight, part nine? Uh, listen, I mean, there's a lot of information about Kraut. Like those forum posts are pretty damning. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and there's just, you know, the last part's going to cover all the big shit. You know, the uh, Coach Red Pill, the, the doxing stuff, uh, forum posts, just all the shit uh, that didn't, I, I wanted to try to create like a little timeline. Like, you know, here's, kind of what sparked it off and then here was the initial battle plannings and then here's the Kilroy stuff because that kind of played into it and it was interesting and then just end with the bang talking about all the big shit and establishing timelines and uh, talking about all of that uh, all of that fun shit and then finishing it out and going back to my normal portion of the internet and letting you fucking guys deal with this crap <laughs> you, you, this is all you you guys you fucking have fun with it uh, I'm going back to the more sane part where people shove bike pumps up their ass <laughs> to be fair, okay. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to shove bike pumps up your head. You do. You need. I mean, it requires uh, quite a bit of dexterity and coordination. You've got. You've got to be very. You've got to be very, uh, very uh, intelligent to be able to handle that. Let's go a little bit behind the scenes. How did you find that uh, CIA nigger guy, Terry Davis? Yeah. Uh, He's fucking common knowledge, my dude. No, he had a think... small channel, didn't he? It's like. Well, here's what? the thing about Terry Davis. Like, I left some stuff out about that. Um, G had been trolling Terry Davis for about eight months by pretending to be a girl that he was in love with and messaging him <laughs> um, and making him go crazy with that. So I, I didn't want to focus on that because, uh, you know, that was G's thing. Um, I think I came across him. It might have been on Cow or Kiwi. I, I don't know. But uh, there was like a post, and I thought it was interesting. So I looked into him, and then I like read all this crazy history on him and shit. But like his tweets about like CIA niggers that glow in the dark and just all this other amazing stuff was <laughs> just, just fucking spectacular. Well, it is making fun of a actual mentally uh, handicapped person, isn't it? With Terry Davis, yeah, I, he was kind of like the first internet insanity. I did one on a dude that was uh, that was a tragic one. Really smart guy went to uh, wanted to be a pilot, you know, do all this stuff, and uh, got sucked in by all these fucking uh, gang stalking people on YouTube and his life just went into a tailspin. Like it, it starts off. If you look at his first video, he's clean shaven, well-dressed, smart, articulate. And the last video he's like disheveled, his beard's all fucked up. His hair's messed up talking about um, what it's like to be stuck in a mental institution. And like, you can see the progression in real time from this guy being like, you know, well-adjusted to just going off the deep end because people were telling him that every red car he saw was involved in a plot to kill him. <coughs> Like, legit, though. I mean, like, he hook, line, and sinker fell into it. Like, you can go look at, um, <laughs> you want to see, I'll, I'll show you how crazy this is. If you give me one second, I will pull up a video that I think probably <laughs> explains this better than I ever could, because it's related to the Internet Insanity gang stalking video I did. Uh, so now, you while you me pull up this video, <laughs> I will read a quote of the chat, an allegation about V. It's a quote that Sargon would have said to V the following, I'll make you famous if you shill for my gay ass or shoot theory trademark. <laughs> v, did Sargon say that to you? Well, I'm, I'm waiting for the fame then, because he didn't deliver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this video is still up. All right, so people in the chat, if you want to see how fucking crazy gang stalking can get, you're going to love this. The name of the video is, uh, this is the whole thing. Man Tits Makes a Visit Gang Stalking Group Stalking. It's on Want to Be Free's YouTube channel. And what happened is this lady made all these gang stalking videos, and this dude who apparently figured out who she was went to go talk to her. And it's just the weirdest fucking thing, because now it's like by him visiting her after seeing her crazy YouTube videos, she is now 100% convinced that there is a fucking legitimate conspiracy out to destroy her. It's just bizarre. Well, it, it's not as bizarre. Like if you work at the psychiatric hospital, um, when I was at med school, I had to go there for three months. You do see like uh, enough cases for you to fill up your YouTube with videos for at least two years. Oh, oh people in chat are saying they didn't hear it. It's called Man Tits Makes a Visit Gang Stalking Group Stalking 
and the channel's name is Want to Be Free. So there you go. But yeah, interesting, interesting uh, little world there. Uh, to answer JF's question, um, I think the people who made me famous, um, when I was a small YouTuber, there was uh, Total Biscuit and uh, Angry Joe who dropped their spaghetti on my channel. And that caused like a huge influx of people. And then uh, what really caught me to uh, explode was when Karen Strawn came online um, and she did a stream with me. And that brought a lot of people. And then I went to Sargon stream that also brought a couple. Um, and after that, it was just steady growth. I didn't have more explosions. Good. Do you, Hi, uh, Andy. Yeah. I have to go. So love to everyone. Love to people yeah. of the chat. I'm going to go eat with my family. Peace out. Yeah. Bye-bye. I was gonna say we should probably uh, start wrapping up, and then I'll I'll stick around and chill and and read super chats. You gonna pound those super chats? Yeah, pound some of them super chats. Uh, yeah, but it was a fucking great show. I, I had a blast. Uh, I mean, minus me appearing on the Daily Stormer because of Medicare and being seen as a murderer and a white supremacist by medical well listen you know as the new leader of the white nationalist uh yeah. division of the alt-right you know do you have any message for your followers on the daily stormer now andy uh uh you know i, I might not want to say anything because i know you're going to clip it in a certain way and then post it on twitter because your tweet right now of me uh fucking promoting that site has a shit ton of retweets right now, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably just go no comment right now. You know, no comment, no comment to your 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 uh, new new um, fan base. Uh, hey guys, uh, hope you enjoy the streams. <laughs> you know, Andy, if you reconcile with Base Mama, maybe you could have the Daily Stormer advertise for you and make it a white nationalist convention. Oh, we could do that. You want to do that? You want, you want to set that up, or like will you help? Uh, oh, I'm, sorry, I'm, not, I'm not a I'm, I'm not a part of your hardcore crew. You and Ben Garrison scare me, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You know, you got people like fucking Sam Hyde, you know, and then and then on a whole different level, there's like Andy Worski and Ben Garrison. It's like, you know, th th there was a point where this stopped being fun, and you you guys just took it to a new level. <laughs> Speaking on Andy on the Daily Stormer, what do you guys think of Tara McCarthy on the Young Turks? No. Yes. Wait, what? I don't know, I, I, I don't know who that is. Who's Tara McCarthy? She was um, the girl who was on the uh, show the other day. She's like, uh, you know, really, really far white, wanted the immigrants, uh, yeah. you know, all, all sent away. Even if you were born here and you're not white, a financial incentive for them to leave. Tara McCarthy, that girl? Yeah, resting bitch face Anna Kasparian made an entire uh, segment on her. No way. Yes. Anna Kasparian, you're such a fucking twat. Jesus Lord. How, how, how are they still in business? They had like, I saw their live stream the other day, I had like 180 people watching live. Do you know what's interesting about it? I'm going to make a video. They're, they do have like an affiliate channel. I forgot his name. I'm going to have to check, but it has like certain million subscribers. And when they release a video, they only have like 4,000, 6,000 views. I mean, what the fuck? Something doesn't add up here. Oh, I, I think they just made all their subscribers over the years <clears throat> posting 40 videos a day. I don't think. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those subs are legitimately bots. Like they're just there to give the numbers. You know what? Your chat's right. I'm sorry. Uh, t they said uh, Harmful looks bored. You know, we were going to talk. I, I asked him about that candid thing. Do you want to, you want to, you got some time for that or, or no, Harmful? Yeah, I've got a little, I've got a little bit more time. I've got a little bit more sorry, time. Sorry, because you kind of, everybody kind of, we jumped uh, train here on that. Because uh, I was just curious about the TJ thing, because I know he's getting in the race reels and shit now after Kraut, and he was kind of oh, in the candid thing. Do you think he realizes what he's jumping into with that? No, not at all. I don't think like, so. to, just, to just put that there on a poll of four choices, you know, I could pick anyone. It's like, man. Yeah, what? Oh, really TJ funny. and Kraut? What happened th th there? No, no, I said that uh, TJ's been making uh, statements on Twitter that he's going to jump into the discussion now, uh, you know, kind of now that it's kind of blown up. But oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, right, I remember, yeah. and this is what I wanted to talk to Harmful about. Did he make a video coming after you about the fucking yeah, game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, it, was, it was real long. Uh, unfortunately, my my response isn't there anymore. But uh, 
what did he, he call you? Harmful something? He, no. That's his nickname. Harmless he, exaggerations. Yes. The, ooh, 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 ooh. Fucking home run. That's funny. No, 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 no dude. Fucking. The best one was uh, he was talking about how, he, uh, how I run a cult and I have people literally believing I'm God. And, well, you know what? I don't believe in God. <laughs> he did it like a Batman thing. No. <laughs> Dude, have you seen his latest setup? Like, like, like what his videos look like at the moment? Oh, triggered, it's you mean? In a, in, a, in a top hat with a fucking pipe, a skull, a Bible with a hole in it, a, a fucking retro phone. Shut with up, you're making this up. No, no, no. no. Like God, dude. Billy, Billy, Billy Bob, Jimbo, look you're him up. You're fucking lying. There's no, no way he's that dumb. No. 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 It's all on YouTube right now. Hey, Jimbo, Jimbo, I'll open it on screen share. I would I'll never lie to you. Baby boy, I would never lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> There's no way. Yo, okay, I'm you know, right now. Yo, yeah. You know, was did he build a DeLorean and travel back to the days of Live Journal? Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking funny. Oh, hang on, not <laughs> this video, but oh, dude, this is good. This is really <laughs> funny, actually. What? Why is he doing it though? Because he doesn't need it. That's <laughs> all right. Uh, are you ready for this, dude? I, I'm maybe? dying to fucking see this. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put this here so I don't screen share the link. All right, here we go. You ready for this shit? I'm not. I'm literally not. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's worse than when I saw it. Sh show I the one where shit. he paints his face. Sh show the one where he paints his face. Oh, uh, is that the newer <laughs> one? I don't know. Go, go to the whole list. Yeah, God, he's got a big <laughs> hole through the Bible. It's like a cannonball got shot through it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? But you don't like it? You don't like it, Medica? Well, uh, Billy, Billy can't, can't you handle some big YouTube intellectualism? Oh, hmm? he, uh, holy shit. Do you know what this reminds me of? I know this. He's stealing this shtick. I know what this is. What is it? He's, well, trying, well, to be the, he's trying to be the Jim Sterling of fucking atheism. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. He stole this bit from Jim Sterling. Oh. Where he'd stand in front of his podium dressed up like he does. That's what this is. This is the Jim Sterling of fucking atheism. It, initially, yeah, I thought this. Initially, no, I thought it, initially I thought it's like David Sorini with more keyboard shortcuts, but now you that you said it, yeah. <laughs> this is dude, dude, no, everyone shut up. Speaking of David Sorini, I have the best meme ever. You are fucking unprepared for this. Oh no, <laughs> wait. No, you are no no, Jimbo. You will. Okay. It's okay, good. It's good. Dude, dude. I, it it. Okay. Here's 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 the link. Here's the link. David Sorini made a sword review. In a trench coat with sunglasses. <laughs> Wait, you like this? You like that? <laughs> <laughs> you made an actual fucking sword review. <laughs> you know, you know what's interesting? Can you imagine him just going shopping and purchasing? It's like, hmm, I could use this skull. I could use this an <laughs> axe. <laughs> Oh, TJ. Something weird about TJ I that I think a lot of people, uh, yeah. a lot of people missed, even though I was talking about Candid stuff, is that he's worked with the company behind Candid since 2012. Wow. Ah. Yeah, because my likes was behind Candid. They were an AI sort of marketing platform, and uh, he was he was doing vids for them, like um, make money with your videos. Put these links in the description, sort of thing. And he mentioned that he personally knew the people involved with it. What the fuck? Is that why he was like like defending them like not that, that might have been why he got so so freaked out about it. Because if I you remember. go on his channel and search my likes, he's been he's been doing like sponsored content for them since twenty twelve. What I remember I remember he attacked you viciously over the candid thing. He he probably flipped out. I don't know if I don't know if he thought it would bother me or something, but he was giving him money on Patreon and stopped and made a video about it or no, something no, no, like no. that. Didn't, that that's not what happened. He, I think at, at that point I didn't even have a Patreon. Uh, what happened was I appeared on Teal Deer and then he then he was in a live stream and he said, "Yeah, I stopped giving money to Teal Deer because he had harmful opinions on it and I hate that guy." Yeah, and he made a video about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was wait, wait, fun. so because I've I've talked to him. Um, I mean, me and him had beef for a little bit, but we're okay. But do you think you just being here in general, he's gonna be mad at me now? For having you for having you on. I, oh, I think the last cares. few minutes are gonna make him mad. I think the last few minutes <laughs> might make him a little upset. Sorry, TJ. I mean when he said when he said I know the I know the people behind it personally or whatever, he might have been fucking lying because it was in one of his ads because he was trying to get people to trust the product. Um 
so he might have lied because i mean i assume you know i keep hearing teal deer's name come up Andy, you should have him on sometime because he seems to have made and talked about this shit for years ahead of time of everybody yeah. else you know what like i was just saying i don't know if you missed the part but he he predicted everything that would happen up to this point right now like he he was right about everything teal De hashtag teal deer was right everyone in the chat you want to do that didn't uh, you learn your lesson last night you really want them to start tweeting things again Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say 100 percent this happened, but like maybe. So, because I don't want to. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Maybe Teal Deer was offered a candid sponsorship and recorded like a two-hour phone call with the CEO, and maybe he gave that to me, and maybe she talked about how scared she was of me. No. Oh, see, I'm liking that. See, we're now we're getting some juicy maybe, shit going. Maybe. There. I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe possibly, that happened. Potentially. Maybe. You gotta have teal deer on. This sounds like a beautiful yeah, conversation. Yeah, I'm, I want to fucking. Uh, I know someone in particular who who can contact him because uh, I did, you know, fucking pull some shit for one day where I kind of strawmanned him. You heard this, right? Yeah, I strawmanned him. I apologized the next day, and then Jeff Holiday went on stream with me, and then he's just like, "No, no, fuck him. I'm not sorry. I'm not fucking sorry." Uh, I have so, yeah. uh, teal deer on Skype in a cabal. Do you want me to ask him if? Uh... Hey, if he wants to fucking jump in, why not? I don't know if he's online though. He seems offline, but it could be just. Uh... Well, we'll message him for the future. I, 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 we could set some up uh, something up with him for sure, because he's been calling this shit for for years. Uh, him thinking ape, you harmful. Uh, Lehman, yeah, he's... you talked about it too. He's got really I good. I don't know what you I... talked about. I am squiggly clean. Please sponsor <laughs> me. Please give me money on Patreon. <laughs> I, it's weird. Now that I switched to Twitch, I get emails like every few days of just not people being like, I want to give you money or whatever, just them being like, here's a free copy of my game. Just just all the time. And it's like, I don't want to play it now. Thank you for the gift, but now I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like I, I feel sort of obliged to shit on it. So I'm, I'm thinking of maybe just like gathering because I think I'll only ever get to do this once. Just gathering, just wait till I've got enough to fill up four hours and just do like a little taste a few minutes of each one and say why shit and you should never buy it. Of what exactly? Sorry? Hours. Just of a bunch of games. I get sent games all the time now. Oh, nice, nice. They want me to play their game, and it's just like, oh, they're oh, they're homemade, their homebrew game. Yeah, like like um, I, like. <laughs> You know, um, publishers and PR companies connected to game devs. No, nothing huge. Not like fucking EA sending me their game. Yeah. But like little indie indie outfits are like, here's the game. Please play it and talk about it. That's yeah, nice. But... You you can help the little guy. I mean, if it's a legitimately good game, you know, why not go for it? I'd I'd rather they just they just say, hey, we've got a game. Consider looking at it, because then I might go buy it. Like I'm, I'm happy for, for like, for example, I do buy indie games and play them, and like say, oh, this, this one's cool. I recommend this one or whatever. Mm. But when someone sends me that shit, it's like, I don't no, want to get. The way, I don't want to get people... any sort of favors. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but it's just the way people do business. And if you want it, you can say, look, I, I will play it. But if it's bad, I will say it's bad. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It, this, this is one of the things where it's not like it's not like it's morally wrong to take it or something. It's just like I'd rather not. I'd rather totally be separate. Maybe I'll just give the codes away someday or something. An yeah. indie free for all. There you go, man. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a good idea. Well, oh my god. Yeah, we'll set you know, set up that teal deer thing soon because I'm sure. Like he ripped into me bad, man. Oh, that was brutal. Like I, I did my apology. I did my apology video, but then he released his video like directly after. And it was like a 45 minute video. <laughs> you know, I, I can imagine him working hard on that video. And then it's like, uh, I'm the apologize. Do I release the video or do I keep it? And then the last 45 minutes, he goes like the last like 30 seconds of the 45 minute video goes, by the way, Andy apologized at the end of 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Damage is done. It took uh, it took a while to to fall back from that one, and then well, that's, some, time... that's some early pre pre Warski stream blood sports. <laughs> yeah, a little little preview of what's coming. This has pre been uh, uh, fun and everything, but I, I've got to go finish that video, and I kind of want to watch. Oh, when is it out, uh, dude? Everyone uh, is it, it, like it, it, in our hands, and we're just it, waiting for it. in like a day or two. You know, the second, the third, something like that. But I want to go watch.
Jim Sterling the Atheist a little bit and just take in those videos because that is that is amazing. I, I thought you guys were fucking with me. I really did not think that was real. Uh, did you watch the Davis Orini sold review? But I'm going to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if he oh, is he reviewing a katana? No, he's reviewing a, a fucking long sword, and it's like oh, is it bigger it, than him? Because like he's not like the tallest dude. I, I, wait, let me let me let me check. Actually, let me let me let me check. Well, hey, Billy, how happy are you that all all the all these streams are exposing so much shit that you that you could talk about slash make videos on? Oh no! After the crowd thing, I'm I'm going back to my normal stuff. No, no, <laughs> you guys no, can I'm, dance I'm, in the I'm flames. Just, I'm going back no, to uh, <laughs> DeviantArt and crazy people. No, I just mean just the the observing. I, I don't mean making videos on. I just mean like just like witnessing the fucking blood sports and the fire. So you you came in here basically. You started a fire and then you're like, "All right, now that it's burning, cool. I'm going to fucking peace out now." You did this, Jim. It's <laughs> just one big, you know, praise be to Haverman, the lord of the 24-hour ops. There you go. Beautiful. Well, thanks. All right, for take it easy. Uh, peace out, bud.